You know, it seems kind of strange from us watching you get outscored by 13 in the second quarter and won by 30, um, especially since the second quarter, it didn't look like you had a whole lot of energy. So yeah. where did the energy and life come from, and how did you see it? Um, well, you know, in, in, the, in the first quarter, you know, the ball's moving pretty well. We're cutting pretty well. You know, our defense is pretty good. And, um, you know, maybe in the second quarter, it just caught up to us, you know. Uh, like I've said this before, it's a tiring stretch that we're in. It's been pretty grueling. And maybe it just caught up to us a little bit. And we needed to get our second wind um, at halftime, you know. Uh, that's, that's the best way I can describe it. Uh, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other reasons, but I don't want to get into all that. But I, I think that's, that's about as good a reason as I can come up with. Um, and, you know, what can I say? It's the best I can do for you. You mentioned that grueling stretch, and then with the week you guys have had, how do you think the team is doing, and just in general, just a state of you know, kind of mental tiredness? Yeah, the team? you get tired. I mean, um, when you look at the, uh, the number of games in a short period of time, um, you know, it's just catches up to you, you know, and, and uh, you, um, you know, sometimes you just don't have it in you. Sometimes you just have to grind it out, you know. Sometimes you, um, you know, you have to fight through things. You know, it's not always going to look great. It's not always going to look pretty, um, you know. And you go out and, you, you know, you do what you can and you do what you got to do. Crystal made some big, big shots. Obviously, she got her on a roll. And uh, I don't even see the final stats, but yeah, she played. She played a she played a good game just overall, you know. Uh, in spite, you know, forget the shooting the ball. Um, well, but um, you need your seniors to do that. You know, you're a senior point guard. You know, you you kind of gravitate towards those moments where we really need you to make shots. And um, and she really stepped up tonight and made them. And I think it gave everybody like a chance to take a deep breath and gave everybody a little bit of sigh of relief there when she when the ball started going in because we sure missed a lot of you know you know there's a reason why we we go into these laws you know we just just don't have a lot of great shot makers you know. Megan got in the lane a lot, was playing physical, mm -hmm. got those rebounds, um, and then took a couple shots to the face. How is she? Yeah. Well, and how did you like her, her play, her physical play today? Um, you know, Meg's come a long way. Freshman year, I don't know that that would have been something that she was capable of doing. Um, but she got she got poked in the same eye twice, and it's pretty it's pretty swollen. And I had no intention of putting her back in. And she came over and sat on the bench. And I looked at her and I said, what's up? And she shook her head, yeah, I'm good. I said, you sure? And she said, yeah. And I looked at her eye and I thought she was going to say, cut me, Mickey. You know, I didn't know what she was going to say. So uh, it's too young to know that. Um, <laughs> and she wanted to go in, you know. She made a three, got some rebounds. You know, Meg's, you know, she's becoming that reliable player that we need, that every team has to have. You know, she's going to make big shots. She's going to rebound. She's going to play hard and play good defense and, you know, get her double-double. And, you know, that's pretty good um, comfort level to have. <clears throat> Anything else? <clears throat> what, about, what about Oregon and kind of, obviously, have some time before that, but... Do you feel like the USA experience kind of prepared you guys for that in a sense, or? Uh, I think it's game to game. You know, I don't. I don't think that um, there's uh, there's any way to connect the dots anymore. Um, you know, you um, the second quarter we outscored the national team twenty to ten. Tonight we lost twenty something to nine. <laughs> so. 
you can't really go by, the, well, this happened and now you're ready for that. I think the world that I live in anymore, it's day to day. You know, you watch one game and you go, wow, we were really good that game. And then you cross your fingers and hope you're just as good the next game. And you do that 35 times and then you take a big sigh of relief because the season's over. Alexa, first. Yeah. Gino, Jasmine hasn't been on the bench for three weeks. Is there anything, you know, you can tell us maybe it's a personal thing you can't or don't yeah. want to address, but can you say anything? Yeah, no, well, we will when the right time comes. But, yeah, she's, um, she's on a personal uh, leave right now. <clears throat> oh, um, we saw Patchouli warming up. Yeah. Is there any update you can give on her? Uh, Janelle, our... Uh, athletic trainer said, hey, I'm going to let Tuli uh, warm up tomorrow with the team. Th that's, that's a step. Right? It's not a ringing endorsement like, hey, she's ready to go. So we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, we've got a day off tomorrow. We've got a couple practices, and um, we'll play it by ear, little by little, one day at a time. But at least, she, you know, she's doing more things today than she did, you know, five days ago. Did you talk to her to see how she felt after warming up? Uh, I know it's the yeah, time frame of that is uh, short, but. Yeah, I mean, uh, she, she, she practiced yesterday for about 20 minutes, so I'm sure she felt exactly like she did yesterday <coughs> after 20 minutes. You know? <clears throat> is this team where you thought it might be at this point in the season, further along, not as far, obviously coming up to one of the biggest games of the season? Um, well, the one thing I'm sure of is they're probably in the locker room right now. <coughs> so they are where I think they should be. Um, in terms of uh, are we, you know, going into the season, I really had, uh, I had no expectations. You know, I went in the whole, uh, the whole preseason thinking, um, I wonder how good we can be. I wonder where where we can go. I wonder who's going to step up. I wonder how our defense is going to be. There was no, unlike you know the previous five or six years, whatever, where we knew exactly what we had. We knew what, you know what the experience level was and all that. Um, this year, I had none. I had no expectations, and um, in some ways, we've exceeded our expectations. And at the same time, I don't think we're as good as we could be. Um, so, where are we? We're probably like a lot of other teams around the country, you know? I bet you if you asked a bunch of the teams that started the season undefeated in the top three or four in the country, five, and you ask them the same question, they would go, I don't know, you know? Hard to say. Um, hard to say. We're better than we were in November. We're better than we were in the Cal Vanderbilt game. Gina, we, we always talk about February first as sort of the start of the stretch drive, and you know, we, you know, not only Oregon, South Carolina, but really some the better teams in the in the league. You're going to see South Florida twice a couple times, and Tulane, and whatever. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything in particular where you like? wrap things up a bit or how will you approach February because you know the thing you know you mentioned you've been better since November till yeah. now but certainly you know the thing about this program pretty consistently is that you do play your best ball at the end uh, uh, that's the that's that's the plan but can't say for sure that that's what's going to happen, but um, I I have found that um, you know with sometimes with a young with a younger team, an inexperienced team, a team that hasn't necessarily been there and done that as a group. Um, sometimes, if the expectation levels are, are too high and I ratchet it up too high, it ends up working against you. You know. Uh, so we'll have to see, you know. Uh, I told them before the national team game, I said, look, nobody expects you to win this game. He said, including me. 
I said, so, you know, let's make sure we play the way, you know, we, we make ourselves proud. And then with, you know, we're up in the fourth quarter and then, you know, five minutes left, whatever it was, and then we got back to practice and I was really pissed we didn't win. You know, but I, I think sometimes, you know, players, especially younger players, they play a lot freer and they play a lot more relaxed if the it isn't there, isn't there. And um, I think that's the case with, with most teams today. I think everybody just wants to be happy, you know? Everybody wants to be happy. That's my goal, make everybody happy. Anything else? I'm Tom Hanks for the rest <laughs> of the season.